Good day, Leo, and welcome to my channel. This is your monthly reading for March 2024. If you're new here, welcome. If you're coming back, oh, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well, and I hope this reading resonates with you. Universe speak. Spirit's guide. What needs to be known? What lessons need to be learned? Seven of Diamonds. Four clubs. Six of hearts. And the two of diamonds. All right, so your general energy this month is the two of diamonds cheating so either you're cheating on somebody or somebody's cheating on you now this doesn't have to be romantic cheating this can be a friendship a partner uh like a business partnership a friendship a uh, family member whatever somebody's just doing somebody wrong uh, behind their backs and whatnot and this can be you because it's coming up in your general energy uh, but regardless uh, this will be going on through the whole month of March, um, and it also can be multiple cheating. This can be multiple people cheating on cheating on, on people, not cheating on cheating. <laughs> I'm having a hell of a morning. Um, but either way, uh, somebody's cheating, and uh, that's all there is to it. So, I mean, if you have a suspicion of people cheating or somebody cheating, then they probably are. If it's you cheating, then perhaps you want to rethink your relationship with whoever this person is that you're cheating on. Uh, at the beginning of the month, uh, you got a harvest season coming in. You're going to reap the fruits of your labor. Uh, your past efforts are going to start paying out. So say that you had an Etsy shop at some point and you had merchandise on that Etsy shop and uh it just wasn't selling so you gave up on it and this could be like wow this camera's really just off there we go and um you gave up on it all of a sudden now uh people might be taking notice they might be uh leaving messages they might be buying your product uh this can also be like and it can be anything it can even be you uh have a YouTube channel and you had a few videos on there and it just didn't work out and you left it behind, uh, suddenly people could be uh, coming on there and watching your videos and whatnot. It could start, you know, getting uh, momentum. And the thing is, is that if you really want that harvest, if you really want to reap from this uh, at the highest level, uh, the moment you see this starting to happen, jump on that start making more products start making more videos start doing more um for that uh effort you know start putting more effort into the past effort uh and it'll it'll start paying out uh good for you um so yeah you're gonna have an, an, an increase on some kind of past effort of yours uh here at the beginning of the month in the middle of the month uh looks like you might be overworking yourself to get something that uh you want but you have to understand wants and needs are two different things uh what you need you most likely have uh and you need to be uh grateful for that and blood you know realize that you're blessed and celebrate that celebrate that part of your life that you have uh i don't know a roof over your head food in your belly uh good health whatever it may be realize that you have those blessings you have what you need um and you've been possibly overdoing it working or worrying or whatever about the things that you want uh because you think you need them and it's time for you to rest. It's time to give your mind a rest. It's time to give your body a rest uh, from from worrying or working towards getting those things. Uh, what we want will always be there, or there will always be new things that we want. You know, uh, so yeah, just celebrate your life. Celebrate how blessed you already are, uh, and realize how blessed you are. You know, um, at the end of the month, uh, looks like you're going to have some thoughts of a past love. Perhaps uh, they get a hold of you or 
you just have a dream or something about them or maybe even bumped into them at the supermarket or something uh, and now you're thinking about letting them back into your life or whatever uh, and this can be this can be um, a, an ex like a romantic ex uh, this can be a friend this can be a family member uh, like I always say it can even be like a business partner just somebody that you had a falling out with uh, in the past over something uh, and the cards say don't don't repeat this because that is exactly what you're going to be doing. You're going to be repeating it. Uh, everything that happened before will happen again. Uh, if you think that whatever it is that split you up is gone now, it's not. It's still there. Uh, if it's the person themselves and they seem like they've changed, uh, they may have changed for the rest of the world, but not for you. Uh, it might work out for a week. It might work out for a month. It might work out for a year. But in the end, it's still going to end the same way that it did before. Um, it's just not going to work out. Um, you need to just forget this past. Now, do whatever you want to do. The cards and me are just advice. You know, we, we don't, um, you know demand anything you know it's all up to you it's all you know you still got your free will uh regardless of what the cards say uh but let's go ahead and see what the um tarot cards have to tell you universe speak spirits guide what needs to be known what lessons need to be learned mm. well You've got the fool. So there might be a positive risk in front of you that's going to change your life, that's going to bring you a whole new life. Um, the cards just say plan and prepare, you know, like the uh, the package that he's holding, you know, uh, his his what he has, his garments and whatnot, and what he needs for the road ahead. Uh, but, yeah, the card says to take the leap. Um, the dog back here is kind of like your past, uh, and it's trying to hold you back, so you got to be careful. Uh, yeah, I would be really careful about taking back this person. I feel like they're going to hold you back on um, something that you could be moving forward on to, um, some, some positive risk ahead of you, um, you know, a leap of faith, uh, and that's what it's going to be. It's going to be a leap of faith. Um, and this can be a new job, this can be a new relationship, this can be you're moving somewhere new. This can be a whole new life. Uh, but regardless, when you take it, it's going to bring a whole new life to you. But uh, this could be like a whole new life, like new new, new situations and everything. Um, and you might, you might, you know, you're, the past might hold you back a little bit more. You know, you might feel... Um, guilty or something for leaving it behind because you're gonna have to leave your past behind in order to take this uh leap of faith uh but the the sun there uh says no go forward it's it's shining bright in front of you take that leap uh it is a positive leap regardless of how scary or whatnot that it might be that it might appear to be uh but it's going to be good for you um I think that any time that we're going towards something new in our lives, uh, it's scary, you know, and you, you don't know what the outcome is really going to be. But the thing is that if we don't ever take leaps of faith uh, in our lives, we never see change. And we end up sitting back there in the past uh, wondering uh, what it would have been like if we would have took the leap of faith. Uh, so, yeah, just plan and prepare. Go forward. I don't see any, like, real, except for this past love, I don't see anything um, really holding you back. Uh, I feel like uh, the past effort is something that's going to open up this uh, positive risk that you can take. And, um, yeah, that could even be possibly part of the positive risk is this. And this might end up by, by jumping on it and doing what you need to do, you know, making more product or videos or whatever it is that you need to do to bring in that harvest season. I feel like uh, maybe your past uh, sees that happening and they don't want that to happen for you. They don't, you know, they're worried about where they're going to be at. Um, 
you know, if you go forward and live this new lifestyle. But the thing is, is that your life is about you. It's not about uh, the people behind you or the people in front of you. So I would say definitely uh, take that leap of faith. So there you go. I hope this resonated. If it did, hit that like button. And if you would, please comment, share, and subscribe. I hope to see you back here uh, next month. And until then, stay safe, stay mindful, and stay healthy.